Alright, they're going FD. Uh, they like this because I think they tried to do a lot of... Uh, Amita likes to keep them separated and like, you know, go for all those rest kills and he's able to do that without getting interrupted on this big ass stage. Right, so, interesting here. Uh, Fizzle's going shoot. Uh, oh, I just noticed that. Uh, he might, he might think, you know. Now, Fizzle Shriek is good, but I haven't seen it in a month. Uh, that's true. And it's not showing too much right now. His, his, his Shriek's good. But I, it, just, it just, uh, I think he wants to do it against these characters for some reason. He doesn't, he doesn't want Puff on FD, and I don't know why. Yeah, I don't see, I mean, I think Fox Puff is fine on FD. Yeah. But we'll see if it works out. It could just be that Fizzle's, you know, testing this out, thinking, uh, you know, they might get to Losers Finals. So uh, maybe we can go Sheik against uh, Lance and Rick. Oh, yeah, maybe. Just to see if it's viable. Yep, it's the ledge. Spend the game here. Uh, yes, See, I don't know if this is the right pick with Sheik, but uh, Fizzle's been known to go Donkey Kong in some situations, so it doesn't really surprise me. He loves the losers. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, that was, that's, that's almost a really good volley. Yeah. Like reverse back here, maybe. I think that's if, uh, if that's would have done a different move, then it would have worked. Either up air or back air. Yeah. All right, splitting it. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't believe that hit. Yeah, he uh, he got the up tilt like he traded, yeah. yeah, and then like he even still got the rest after that. I got Peach Corner. The thing is, both both Peach and Puff like they're pretty good two v one. It feels like because they they're can just kind of like but it, as long as you they're they bad can, if you get them in shoot. Yeah, well they like oh. if if they can create space, they can play really good. Defense. Right, absolutely. And but then if, and if they can like, peck from the outside. On side of you and they're just shield pressuring you. It's like, yeah, I think it's like uh, a cross up between like, do you want the spacing to be close together or like, or or like in between or like from the sides? If you know what I'm talking about, like a pincer attack or can, can or. Can you draw me a picture? Uh, God, uh, no, I I don't think I have that ability. Oh, oh. just just falls off. Oh, okay. Getting some mileage out of down smash. It's always a great feeling, like, oh man, we're behind, and then you get 50%. Uh, yeah, dude. Like, oh, everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's literally half your life is from one move. See? Ooh, it's just beautiful, over over. right? Just yeah. makes you feel all good inside. Because if you just throw it at one side of the stage, like, someone's going to fall into it, right? There's so many people out there. This will win Zets get back. Good team, man. Uh, yeah, Zets needs to... Alright, that was fine. Nice. Oh. He shouldn't have gone for the wave shine there. Because he had to go through physical. Yeah. So it's like, unless you have like a really good sense of team synergy there, someone's probably going to die that you don't want to. So uh, Fizzle, I guess, just taking this. Uh, yeah, I guess he doesn't want to. I, I'd rather do the Fox, but nah, I don't know. Yeah, because like, oh, this is rough. Oh, they have a stitch too, Yeah, he's got a stitch. Because I think I'd take two stocks before it's even close to even. Throw it out of him, yep. The stitch, but I mean, the damage was done. This is why I think Fox killed the 1v2er. Yeah, dude, he could kill Puff, kill Peach right away. Because I guess. Okay, that killed him. Nobody taking any stocks. Yeah, I don't know about this. I always say take the yeah, stocks. Yeah, same. But, but. As long as you kind of trust your teammate and he's around your level. Yeah. But they decided to do a back air war instead. Because that's all they're doing is back airs. <laughs> Thanks, man. Alright, got the kill. He's, he's uh, 1v1. And, uh, well. Interesting choice. Uh, yeah, he, he could have gone with the double ledge cancel turnaround back air, but he decided just to SD. So. I mean, he shot needles under FD. I think. You gotta give him credit. <laughs> Uh, all right, so they went on the counter pick for sure. Uh, I think uh, I think they're gonna want to go for smaller stages. Well, this this will work too. Yeah, Fox on stadiums and monster. I almost say Yoshi story, but they can save that for last. Cobb and Amita are playing pretty close. They're pretty good at close quarters. So I don't know if I would agree with Yoshi's. Uh, I thought that, well, they won on battlefield. That's what they did. I uh, don't see the reason to do this when they won clearly with you. Bad DI. No, he's just in that blender. Nom 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 nom. So, uh, that is. 
grabbed the edge and he's like, oh wait, I'm just sleeping. Yeah, dude, he, he had that, like, yeah, had that like, like, at least not second guess, but third guessed it. He's just like, I'm gonna go save him. Wait, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna go save him. And then he decided not to. You can see Amita just, just really watching what interactions are happening and see if he can just go in for a rest or some kind of follow up. which is kind of annoying in this. Uh, no, not like the show. Not the one where Ken got third at. Um, well, if he makes you feel better, I don't think he got any money. Uh, <laughs> uh, who knows? Uh, well, he got some fame out of it. Wasn't he on the um, All Stars thing too? Didn't he come back? I didn't see. But he uh, he just double crossed everybody, dude. He was like, I'll be on your side, no, I'm gonna be on your side until like the two sides found out that's, that's about just, him. That's just politics. Yeah. I'd probably do the same. I'd probably do the same. Uh, I got one cycling on stadium. It's pretty much even, you know, slight advantage for team. Pup's gonna die in any second. I saved by Fizzle there. Interrupting the box. So, someone called you both their Oh, yeah, who was, oh, yeah, who was Achilles. Oh, Dane. Oh, hey, shout out, shout out to oh, Dane Nolan. We miss you, Dane. Come back to us, Dane. Oh, so we are straight. So yeah, we are okay. All right, so yeah. No, he just he texted us. Yeah, that's what I thought. He, he saw the vids from the future, decided to use his time traveling device after after 20xx. Tell us about the future, Dave. Yeah, Does yeah. Trump become president? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next time travel patch in 20xx. Oh, back air and the back. All right. So um, uh, they're, they're coming back. They just need to keep these stocks. The thing is, when you keep the stocks yeah, even in your high percent, you gotta play super defensive. Oh, good game by that. Oh, he just added it. Yeah, 12%. percent i mean, can't even get there. It's a scary spot. He's not taking loser. the stock. I, I, I don't agree. But, yeah, but, you're but, gonna but, get this 2 v Uh, But then again, Hungry Box X. There's a situation there where the pups... Maybe pup players just think they're better on 2v1. So, uh, she can fox her. They have really good projectiles. I don't know why they're playing over here. Huh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're Mostly, uh, mostly playing to his game. Uh, Amita just doesn't want to play Amita on the is what this is right now. Because, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like, he's trying to just like, buy the side. Kind of uh, just like charge needles, wait for him to miss space, shoot yeah. lasers. Um, uh -oh. You don't want like a freak situation to happen. When one of them dies, you rest the other one. Yeah, if he's gonna rest, he needs to do it yeah, right again. It's too late now. I can see. Is Sheik is alive? No, okay, now he can't. Now there's no hope. Yeah. That sucks, man. Like, your whole strategy changes after 20%. Like, well, I have a chance, mate. No, I have a chance, mate. No, I don't. Alright. And uh, Fully Cooly and Zuts take it to the Uh, hey, you guys, you guys stay there, play uh, Rick and Lance. Play Rick and Lance. Pretty shine from Zets. Hey, Rick and Lance. Hey, Rick and Lance. Losers. Final. Losers. Final. Alright, let's update this bad boy. I told you, I just want to like shit. Viewership doubled when you guys uh, got out. I said that earlier in the tournament. Uh, where uh, Rick and Lance. Uh, uh, they're taking a break. What? I never used the restroom. Oh. Well. I don't know if the sheep pick was the right one. I, I kind of wonder if he's going to try doing it in the finals. Well, he lost. I mean, they lost. Yeah. But they lost. So he's not going to lose. Fizzle and that's one. I mean, I updated that one. How did I forget that quick? 
Because remember, it was a 2v1 against the Vita, and he didn't take the stock. That's right. Uh, you think you could figure out Is it challenge? Oh, it's, oh, um... Hmm... Edit, maybe? In the gray? Oh, because it's in report mode? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to fix the official brackets in a bit. Yeah, let me go find her. You want to do solo commentary? Sure. Let me see what's funny real quick. Are they back? Are they back? And we can just update it all at the end. Yeah, yeah. What's it? What's it? Yeah. I could only find one uh, CRT that had an HDMI uh, and it's this, uh, yeah, um, it's a uh, Sony Trinitron that you like right at the end of that CRT and the, the HDTV thing, there's 600 dollars and it weighs 200 pounds. Oh, only have its kind, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, you talking about this thing? You talking about this no. thing? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, like when I was looking for it, because everyone was complaining about the game. Ah, yeah, I don't know what they use at National. They use... Well, no, they always have a CRT. Well, no, they always have a CRT. Well, I'm sure, but I mean, like, like in the future, like, I mean, it's, it's going to be something like this or better, because this is part of the seconds. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna get a frame. You're gonna get a frame. You don't have to argue. You don't have to argue. Tell me, there's people out there. There's people out there. They're real. They're real. You know, curious about this game. Uh, yeah, they're they're real. 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 They're they live in simple population 161. We have two churches. <laughs> they got what do you got? You got a gas station and an eating place. It's like it's like an eating place 200 feet from the high school. Okay. A high school. Okay. They serve hot dogs. They right? do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a general store. <laughs> <laughs> and two churches. And we also had a meth lab for a while, but it got shut down. The oh, Squad Ohio meth lab. Yeah. Well, kudos to you guys. I hope you're out there watching. We, 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 we've got a question from the, from the commentary, uh, for, from, the, from the chat. Uh, tell Hanky I'm switching my 401k from pre-tax okay, to Dave. Roth. Is, is the government going to steal my 401k no. 40 years from now? Why? Probably not. I mean, I guess it's not 100% sure, but... In general, you should be fine. If something happens where the government steals your 401k, everyone's dead anyway. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Big. Should I report my smash winnings on my taxes? Yes, because it's illegal not to. And there's a whistleblower award of like 10% if somebody else, not me, reports you for it and says, hey, your skull's made $20,000. Thank you, Biggie. Would you ever report me to the I don't IRS? know. I mean, if they gave me enough money... Okay, is this the actual battle? I, I think they're going in. I think they're going yeah, in. It's, uh, yeah. No hand warmers. Uh, uh, Fizzle's decided to go pop. So, I guess the sheep pick was just... I don't even know. Yeah, no one knows what goes inside sometimes that guy's man. Sometimes it's just hard to understand Fizzle. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, he's going Falco. We got a Falco. We got a Falco Fox. Uh, they went double Fox on us. Focus Games. Lance kept good, uh, good harassment on for the table. 
Super jelly if you're Luigi you control that. Oh, thanks. Oh. Well, Rick's got some wacky boxes. That's pretty standard. He's wacky yeah, like a fox. Yeah, he just rolled over the place now. That bird could have been nice. Oh. Finally died on that 175. So pretty good, pretty good for Falco. What's he gonna make the match? Just like, yeah, any bat. Well, like Fox and Falco. That's what it's like. I know, but it's like, oh, you got that one hit that's guaranteed. Nice. Back here, the back here, the back here. Love the back. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to do the back. Nice side. Back. Rick said, I'm going to save my partner. Yeah. 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 Nice, uh, nice job with the Back here, back. Oh, nice recognition by the Yeah. That's like a Alright, but Buff is in the kill percent, so what I need is. Yeah. You can't really grab him too well, but it's a little scary to fizzle on uh, Justin right now. That's it. Yeah. This has got to be a good Okay. Yeah, it was game one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like in that spot, can't Fox pummel and Puff can get over in time to get the rest? Because that's up through. Uh, probably. I guess it's kind of scary. Like maybe you want to get that guaranteed damage, have a good state of mind. Uh, so they go to the Foxy stage. Is that plan staying Fox this time? Yeah. Uh, they might switch. I, th I think he wants Falco for Zets, uh, for the Fox. So he thinks he can combo better with uh, But who knows, he might like the Puff matchup. He likes a lot of Falcos there, see if he like it. But Rick with these back airs, dude, back air, back air, back air, Armada. And, and uh, Fizzle misses too, so Rick, uh... I think he could have just grabbed the edge there. Uh, it's always that like your heart stops when like yeah. Fox like barely yeah. makes it onto the stage yeah. from an up B or like a <laughs> boom. Like why didn't I just why didn't I could have done it? Ooh. Uh, yeah, that works. Works out in red team's favor. Ooh, good pressure. Yo, they need to get more center stage more, I think. They get pushed to the ledge way too far. Blue team? Uh, uh, red team. Or, yeah, blue team. Yeah. By red team. Yeah. By red team. I mean, I think in general, red team is very good at separating the two. Which, I mean, is partially because of Puff. You know, like, you hit Puff once, now you can hit double team. Yeah. Yeah, don't focus on the, on the floaty. It's like here, like, I, I guess they kind of ran away from it. Then got to recognize when, you know, when the back up. Oh, I think I don't know. It's a trick. 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 It
Uh, Fizzle and okay, so it's one, so it's one, one. Uh, They'll probably go uh, big stage, probably Dreamland. I can see Dreamland. I can also see, uh, yeah, yeah, this Dreamland. Yeah, Fizzle wants this for the, you know, the extra lives. Yeah, uh, this is kind of a stage where you kind of get a little separation kind of one v one going, but uh, it's not too bad. It's mostly our stage. Like a pitfall, because we're getting knocked around. Oh, nice. oh, nice back air by Zets. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. 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 Alright, uh, Fizzle needs to stay alive. We need to focus on 
We got a question, guys. Yeah. Uh, is the bracket wrong? Uh, yes. Yes, yes it is. That was my fault. I have it in my hands, but I, I can't. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to get the, uh, the administrator password or something. Uh, but it is a uh, 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 Nice left guard by Fizzle and Fizzle. Like Fizzle. Let's make it like Shine Star up to Shine Star. Fizzle's doing a much better job. Thank you. The ship seems to be cool. Uh, oh. uh, I don't like. Uh, he was he was at zero, and like yeah, he needs a little bit more height. I always go Yoshi. I always go Yoshi. But, you know, but, oh. Lamp. 
Lance, Lance back to the outside. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're at some kind of coffee shop or something. That's where this place is. Yeah, Beat the 86. And I think this guy's making fresh coffee right behind us. Too. There's a huge smelling soda coffee machine. I believe that's the general man. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, this is showing the lack of fucks all in there. Good right, pickup though, he's gotta get the way. Big guy uh, got in the way. Couldn't do anything. Yeah, it just goes in. Yeah, it's just like a strain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, you just stand like a like a like a walker, yeah. or like an NFL. Just stand there, like you know, you gotta get through. Not whatsoever. I stick my leg out. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> you can't come in. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this not the right thing. Still, still doing his job. Oh, nice. Oh, he gets there. Yeah, he gets that armada shot. Got that weak back. Uh, I, you know, you, you gotta pick a target. Oh. And they're pecking at the Falcon. They can't see it for just like you know, a job. Yeah, he looks up like that again. Oh, that might have cost us too. They got a lot of ground to make up for it. Rick always shines like this. And the pistol, like, the like, pistol's gotta stay alive. No, that's too easy. I don't think he's talking about it. But they play well. Uh, uh, I'm breaking Lance. Uh, he did a good job handling. Uh, a couple of backs for him again. Uh, that was his rants. Uh, someone else might not be. Uh, I like you right there. Yeah, I got that one. Good luck. Um, it's, it's just Rob now.
And I'm very, very shocked to see them electing to go to Congo Jungle 64. And we're at even stocks. This is quite unprecedented. I'm not sure what to think of it. Just the fact that Rick and Lance have managed to take these guys in Game 5 is an accomplishment in and of itself. 
two of the top three players in Ohio. Getting a run for their money right now. Nice confirm off of that weak nair, and that's going to kill Hank. Red team takes the lead going into game five. And, oh, that's so unfortunate. That lead is immediately relinquished after that SD. A nice team combo across the stage for the home team. For the hometown heroes. In terms of my hometown. <laughs> Not this time. Okay. Ooh, that's it. Hey, you can't come back. What? Oh what? my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's why they picked this That's stage. That's why they picked this stage. And only one and will die directly now on his second to last stock. Interesting. Can he make Interesting. it back? He cannot. Can he, make it back? he cannot. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, Hanky with amazing right, presence of mind to save Drek right there. That was crazy. Cool. And Hanky, very uncharacteristically very missing that. Yeah. But they're all butt back in this. Another team of the, uh, another member of the red team really needs to be falling up there. Nice combo game nice from Kong. Oh yeah, by the way, this is fully cool, oh, yeah, on the mic. But you already knew that. You already knew that. What's the name of this tournament? We're, uh, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio right now. Oh yeah, Deluge. There we go. For anybody watching and not aware, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like a stream overlay or something like that. This is really this close. Dredden needs to survive. Hanky needs to put in some work. And Hanky accidentally killing Dredden. Are we going to see a set too? Oh, interesting decision by Cobb question mark. Pretty sure that's Lance. Nice combo game from the red team. These are basically even percents. All Hanky needs is one good follow up, and this is basically a 1v1. He does get it that time. Fantastic trade! And he's back to center stage. It all comes down to this. Hanky's so clutch in these situations. He's gonna take the ledge. He doesn't take the ledge! And there it is! That's game five! That's game five! I can't believe it. I can't believe this. We never see this from Hanky missing so many crucial edge guards, and that's gonna, I believe that's gonna force the bracket reset. That was, was that a bracket reset? Was that a bracket reset? Alright, that was a bracket reset. Alright, that was a bracket reset. Folks. They just wanted to play yep. longer. Much to yep. the dismay <laughs> of the TOs, we will not be starting melee singles quite yet. We've got some more doubles coming your way. Coming your way. Game six on battlefield six right now. Battlefield. Unprecedented, Unprecedented performance, thus far, performance thus far from Rick, from Rick and Lance in the and pants. Lance taking a set off of a, off of a team that a going team into that the event was basically event considered was basically untouchable. They ended up taking a game in the finals as well, as well, and we find ourselves in set two. I'm going to continue assuming that the one without the free Cobb question mark is in fact Rick. Can Cobb get back? And he chooses away from Star. Good pressure from the blue team. Unable to capitalize, and that's going to be Dreffin Stock. Thank you, push over in the corner. Oh, fantastic job from Dreffin to mess up that combo and protect Hanky. Their their ability to work together as a team is really unprecedented. They have been working as a team for a very long time, and it really just shows in the synergy that they have. They're just so well aware of what they need to do to aid one another, and it seems as though they're typically more concerned with how they can be helping their teammate than how they can be protecting themselves. It's really something awesome to see. Drethen not afraid to just go out there. That's gonna be a stop. And the blue team looking very solid. Here. Drethen looking to get another Gimp, and he's going to get it. But Rick isn't going to take it standing down. Five stocks to three here. Hanky again, uncharacteristic in this game. He's going to have to shake that off. They still have quite a lead here. Drethen pushed into the corner. Rick gives up the pressure to try to double up on Hanky. Hanky up, he's out of the way. Drethen trying to save, but getting shined away. Oh, and the blender. Oh, and the blender. 
the scary thing about the scary thing about the Sheik Teach duo as a teammate, as a team, both of them are so good at comboing with one another, and they both have that down smash that just takes up so much space for such a long time. It doubles that real estate. It's, it's just really exacerbated with how effective it can be. Fantastic teamwork from the red team. And that was a nice tomahawk grab. That was a nice tomahawk grab. Mm. Not going for a true follow-up there. Oh. oh. Yeah, up air would have killed. I feel like back air is a bit safer. Would have sent directly off stage. Nonetheless, somehow the red team has brought this right back. And now this is even. It's going to be a critical game one. Who will have the counter pick advantage going into the rest of the set? Get the recovery. Doesn't know where to throw. Hanky coming to the rescue. Rick absolutely going off right now. He's moving too fast. Hanky dash attacks him out of the way. Rick's back. Doesn't ledge dash. Doesn't ledge hop up there. Oh. That was an incredible read on that up air. Great pressure right now from the red team. Misses the full hop back air. All right, and this is a 1v2. Oh, great smash you have from Hanky. That was so crucial. All Rick needs is one opening, and this would arguably be in his favor. That back air is not quite going to do it, but he has a moment to 1v1 pressure. What was that? What just happened? It won't matter, but that was... But that was that was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. So did you just get hit so by him being like being an object flying at you? I believe that Rick was just kind of hit as an object. Guys, we, we have a we have a question from the uh, we got a question the, from the, the chat board players. We do. Who who is who is Rick's teammate? Lance, your call question mark, right? All right, that's what I thought. All right, we're going to stadium. This is uh, this is definitely what we would expect. Second lowest ceiling in the game. Hanky getting so much damage. So and Rick really likes this ledge hop up air to kind of secure some space while he back off the ledge and uh, just. Which is, which is weird because typically both of these players are fantastic but bring a really aggressive options to the legs of the seniors. I guess the chaos of levels is a little bit more difficult for them to cover the options of that And if they can take the stock, this could be one of the most treacherous we did. Again, here at the shooting, those are the same options that you're going to get yourself. Red team cornered, but somehow still making the best of a bad situation. Hanky, Goots, and Desmond now smash this good coverage right now, and that actually puts the red team in an untrusted Wow, the double fair from Hanky. Fantastic double fair from Dreadman, and the code for a very technical, very high level recovery. Of course, it doesn't pan out for him, but. That's the kind of stuff I feel like to see. Thank you for some big more impressions. Red Team throwing needles at just the right time to disrupt Red Team having a slight advantage. Red Team expertly taking the ledge. Trying to keep Hanky at bay. He's going to take the ledge. Pop has center stage. Hanky gets led. Dreffin tries to read a wave dash back. Is Hanky dead? Alright, Lance's hands are not going to get out of here. Both through Angel. My team securing some safety so you can get them. And now Lance is going to have to recover. Very, very nice defense from Rick. Oh, nice. These guys are experts at recovering around one another. They're very ambiguous as to how the team recovers either their recoveries. And with that KO, it looks as though we are essentially dead. I feel as though Lance probably should have went off the fire salt to catch Rick and give him another recovery opportunity, because there's no way he's going to Oh, he's naked, like he's trying to have a better way to kill me. Unless he is at 141. They're going to need that kill soon if they want to kill this guy. Air's not going to do it for such a kill. Very, very nice presence of mind for Rick to shield the meat after that upper knowing that Hank is going to be punished. Unfortunately, we can still establish some skin potentially as well. 
Nice jab at that ball up there. Bagger is not quite going to do it. He has to position himself right where he knows he probably can't die. There's that backer. That will do it 200%. Crazy that he can survive the 7%. And that is probably going to do it as long as it can be Hanky and May. There it is. Alright, Hanky has got a small amount of time. Oh, he can snap into the state of Magus. Nice. Just so good at just falling into the boat and coming back and forth. And this is a tell order for Hanky, by the way. That was crazy. You could tell that it was a bit of a weird situation. They weren't incredibly sure how they should have followed it up. And you could have chance that everybody I've always known Hanky to be a bit more of a clutch player. He's going to need to shake that off. And we are now tied 1 1, of course, going to Dream 1. And if the red team, if the red team, they can somehow pull off an upset on this stage, on this stage they can win back the counter pick for a potential game five. Mm. I think that uh, rising back there was a big uh, read for it. Was get a free punish. punish. Get a free punish. And ends up getting burned for it. No wave dash had a shield no punish on the down smash for it. I think coming back on the stage. Very nice ledge hop fair to continue that combo started by Hank. And the blue team is just dominating the stage right now. And that's probably going to do it. Dresden coming to Hank is on that edge guard. And Hank getting edge guard. I feel like Lance kind of wanted to go save his uh, teammate there, but he, he knew he couldn't really get there, so he just ran back to center stage, so he knew he wouldn't be able to get him. Very mature decision. Sometimes you've got to cut your losses. Wow. This team synergy right now from both teams, honestly, is just so fun to watch. Drevin has a grab. Rick coming to Lance's aid immediately. I like that. Thank you, doing a fair job of edge guarding Rick. Rick makes him back. Drevin applying some good pressure. Rick not sure what to do. Still in the corner. They end up getting back to center stage. Hanky sends Rick across the stage. Lance is going to have to recover now. Hanky goes for an up throw follow up. And this is a free edge guard. And, this is a free and edge guard. he didn't quite get the right angle. I feel like he may be able to come back. Nevertheless, this is looking very, very uh, blue team's favor right now. With the, with all this space, they're really able to uh, capitalize on their positional advantages. And they seem a bit better than the red team at getting out of disadvantageous positions. Yeah. Yeah. We are definitely seeing a better combo game from Hanky and Drek in this game than we've seen in the first two. Nice presence of mind from Drek to punish Lance for punishing Hanky. He's so strong in doubles. And the double up smash kills him. They're going to bring this back. This is arguably even. Though it's four stocks to three, of course, the team is both at 0%. You can see one hit is going to even up the stock count. Lance, again, unable to save Rick. I do think if he had a bit more awareness of situations like that and he was a bit more confident in aggressively going out there, it would be a possibility. But nice shine from Rick to separate the blue team and make it them unable to edge guard Lance. Good recovery from Lance as well. They're going to need this longevity if they want to pull up off the upset. The up smash is going to do it. And all of a sudden, if they can take out Hanky, this is going to be a 2v1. Hanky at 6%. Can they get him off it? Not thus far. And Drefin with the Gimp, and all of a sudden it's up to Lance. Still not impossible, but with this team's synergy, I don't see them throwing away this advantage. No 10 for Lance, and that's going to be game 3. Hanky maintains 6% through that victory. Through that victory. And ends up carrying the team with five total kills. The good thing for the red team is they got Dreamland out of the way. They're going to have a Yoshi's in mind. Yeah, they're going to go to Yoshi's. I was thinking either Yoshi's, maybe, maybe back to Battlefield. But if they can win here, they're probably going to have to win on Battlefield or... FD, which is definitely doable considering how well they're playing. Will we see a game five? Will we see a game five? Can the underdogs take yet another set off of two of Ohio's gods and mans? Lance taking a very nice angle, burning Dreffin on his recovery.
Nice falling up air from nice Lance. Falling up, up, falling up on Dreffin as well. And great team synergy to, to take that stock. Doesn't get the shine turnaround there. I feel like that would have been a bit stronger of a follow up than the attempted up air. Can Lance make it back? Yet again, he does make it back. And Dreffin unable to, to edge guard these, uh, these mangles. Me two king angles, if you will. Is that is that that is gonna be a game? That is gonna be a game. unable to Nicky do much about that. Oh, oh, Lance wasn't ready for that oh, up air up air rather from Rick. That could have been big damage. Again, this team is Again, so good at recovering around one another and not getting each other's way. It's, it's incredible how well they know one another and know exactly what they're doing. No shorten from Lance, he doesn't need it. Dreffin, get, yet again, getting hit by all these recoveries. Peggy's gonna follow it up every day. Interesting attempt of a gimp there. And yeah, it's gonna do it. The double up smash again for Lance. Misses the back air. That's gonna do it. And all of a sudden they have a really nice lead going into late game. Four socks to three here. Only a minute and a half has passed, of course, with this very, very small stage. Lowest ceiling in the game, very small blast out. Oh, and accidentally killing himself in his teammate. They're now down a sock, whereas just a moment ago they were up. This is very, very, very high-paced very high action, and when you're playing, when you're playing characters as technically difficult as Spacey's, those mistakes are really bound to happen. you got to shake that off. This is certainly not over. They're going to have to play nearly perfect, though. Rick not protecting his teammates' recovery, and that might be the nail in the coffin for the red team, unless Lance can really pull out some... Some really nice moves here, and that's, that's going to do it off the top. All right, in, in eight games, very good showing. Very good showing. Excellent showing from uh, from Rick and Lance, and congratulations to Hanky and Dreffin. Um, it was a bit more dramatic than most of us probably would have thought it was, but they end up taking home the gold in grand final set two, game four. Absolutely good stuff. We're going to have some melee singles bulls action coming up next. We're going to have two waves. Not entirely sure which waves are coming up, but I'll be announcing some of the bigger matchups we can be looking forward to in just a moment when we have that information ready to go. And uh, we do have some really big names here. Um, incredibly stacked tournament to the point where some ranked members from OSU's PR were not even one seats in their pools. So um, we've got a lot of talent here. It's unfortunate that a number of good players that were planning on coming did not end up making it. So I think some of the pools might be getting shuffled a bit. Nice. Appreciate it. But yeah, this is definitely going to be quite the tournament. I'm very excited. I think there's a lot of opportunity for some upsets, especially considering how well Rick and Lance um, ended up performing in uh, Winners Finals and Grand Finals. Ended up taking a total of, I believe, five games off of Hanky and Treffin, which is honestly incredibly impressive. Um, I don't know that I've ever really seen them drop a game at a tournament of this size, more of like a local. Um, this is more of a stacked local, I'd say. We've got a lot of uh, talent coming in from, from Indiana, a lot of talent coming in from Kentucky. we got some wise guys in the got chat. Chat, chat commentary. Uh, I went Hanky and Drift in the wind, and we got uh, Jaguar 02 going, oh wow, what a shot. <laughs> oh, well, Shout out to Jaguar. It was close Shout though. It was, it, was, it was either way for a little while. Yeah, it was, yeah. that was a very entertaining set. Much more entertaining than we were probably expected to see um, when we had Hanky and Drift in the mix. And it was just so exciting to see that team that had the technical ability to keep up with that team and, and uh, really give them the run for their money. Unfortunately, they were unable to end up taking it in the second set, but just taking that uh, first set in Grands alone uh, speaks so much. And again, I'm, I'm so shocked that they ended up going to uh, Conquer General 64 for Game 5. Um, you know, I really don't even know what to say. I know that Dreffen is a real... He's, he's, of course, one of the old school players. If you watch the documentary, he's interviewed a number of times in the documentary as one of the grandfathers of Smash, if you will. And um, for that reason, I think he has a bit of a soft spot for uh, a lot of the older that used to be legal. And in some rule sets, um, I don't know if the Apex rule set still goes by this, but a lot of rule sets nowadays still actually include Congo Jungle 64 as a counterpick in doubles. Um, and you don't see it across the board, but it's interesting that it's still legal. And um, it's, it's picked so rarely that it's not even really relevant in today's doubles meta. Um, but, you know, every now and then it'll pop up. And... I, I don't know. I guess the blast zones are pretty big, um, but it also gave the red team a pretty nice opportunity to camp and establish some space. 
Also, the top platforms uh, really aid Fox's recovery. Of course, they don't have the wall to ride, um, but there's the barrel everything. So, honestly, it's, it's probably a pretty even matchup. But uh, just thinking about some of the talent that we have here for Melee Singles, of course we've got Hanky Dreffen, we've got Fizzle, Fizzle Boy and myself taking third in teams. I actually ended up taking uh, Rick and Lance to Game 5 in Losers Finals, if any of you guys ended up missing that. That was a very exciting set as well. Alright, I'll see you on all right, great. Yeah, let's get some, uh, some uh, no, friendlies. Uh, no friendlies. And we got no friendlies. And we got yes. All right, we got wave one coming up. Friendlies are being stopped. Oh, oh, Everybody is waiting with bated breath. Specific people are being asked to stop playing the friendlies now that most in the venue have in fact. Because we can't be adults. Everybody knows that when they Everybody say stop your friendly, it means last stock or last next stock wins. That's at least how I play. It's like, at least let us say, you know, no. next stock wins, whoever takes next stock, we're done. But I still, I still need to finish this, you know? So that's at least what I do. Four points. Right here and here. Let me get pull one. Pull one, Kinky, Lefty, 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 and somebody else. Shockage. So it seems as though the second seed would like this new Law Guy. I don't know that I played him <laughs> in Melee. But I played him in 64. He's definitely a huge uh, competitor in that game. So, Law Guy between Hanky and. Um, Alright, Pepe. Number two, right here. Got So, so when we see Dreffen versus Dreffen versus each player, that will be very interesting. Of course, Dreffen has so much experience playing against you, living in the same city as Hank. Rick of Insanity. All right, in the third pit, we're going to get Rick of Insanity. Um, that's going to be very interesting because Rick of is a very, very technical, very fast, and competent Falcon player hailing from. Uh, he goes to college in OU, but he's a young sound like myself. Hashtag Wide Town Boys. But anyway, um, he's going to be going up against Rick, he's primarily a Space player. I will tell you what. I will tell you what. But Sandy's punish game is primarily this reaction tech game, which is so impressive. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see an upset there. So I do hope that we can get that on this stream. And I'm going to ask Peppy now that we can sure we get all one versus two. Peppy. 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 Hey, can we make sure all 1v2 sees are streamed? I can try. Yeah, I can do that. I definitely want Rick versus Insanity. I think that's going to be really good. Especially like the ones that are like likely to be upsets. Of course, some of the pools will have more likely upsets than others. And I think that's the one where we're really going to want to stream that. Are we going into it or is this a hit one? I guess we're going right into this. So this is Hanky versus... Hanky versus... Lefty. All right. So Lefty going down two stocks, 40 seconds into the match. Hanky is incredibly well versed in the Falco matchup. There's so many Falcos in OSU Melee for him to just beat on all the time. So um, you're going to see a lot of really standard beach pressure on Falco. He's going to get that at if you have sweet spot beside B, that honestly Hanky will wait until the better so that's kind of free. And let's never take it a stop. There we go. That's how it starts. Four stops. All right, he's playing a top platform game, very reminiscent of West Falls versus Armada at the Big House Four. If anybody remembers that set, nice crowd kill, down smash. The end of crowd canceling into a down smash of uh, E2. I meant down smash. Oh, he misses Waveland. Hanky only able to get a back air off of it. Not too bad. Seems as though when he's uh, cornered, he really likes cool hopping away and reestablishes his current space, realizing how high and how fast um, Falco's jump is. And um, knowing how well Hanky is at adapting, we're going to see, I expect to see, a lot of adaptation from Hanky's head in terms of what he's going to do when he does hit lefty pressure, when he is in the corner with his shield. I'm going to expect a lot of uh, full jump up airs from Hanky to pop lefty up on that corner. And of course, we're going to see Stadium. I imagine Hanky and Yoshi. Um, he, of course, doesn't want to get shined off the top. Nice power shield from Hanky. It's just so demoralizing as a Falco player when you get power shielded, and now you're like, what do I even do? Like, 
My character's pretty slow. I need lasers to establish his control. And when your bullet just takes that away from you, it kind of makes you rethink your whole game plan. It makes you a bit of a you can shoot laser. Pinky ends up getting a turn up. That's really bad news to well. And that's going to be unfortunate. Throws the dot eyes, doesn't even need it. 3% on Pinky Pinky thus far, 30 seconds of the match. That's kind of running out. Ooh, the unfortunate habitual damage attack. That's, that's happening probably because he's just pressing buttons. Not that he's going to get hit, and then by the time he's realizing he's hit, he's already hit the button that ends up walking with his attack. It's really unfortunate that he's happening. Okay. Maybe with a rare miss on that edge guard on the Alright, Lefty is establishing a bit more space, spacing out some aerials and trying to keep Hanky at home. Hanky not too phased, picks up his moments to strike very well, and capitalizing off the very well. Very nice back air at 0% into that downstairs. Hanky's just so well aware of what he needs to be doing at various percents to call what's most possible. Especially against fastballers, he, he definitely specializes in destroying fastballers. He's also so fast, he's just a bit intimidating. You second guess every move because you know one wrong move would be based. Let's see if Lefty can end up taking a second shot here. Oh, he misses that, uh. I feel like he probably should have went for a let's drop double jump back air. He ends up falling and getting a down air. And if you with the force off, probably could be a stock. Get four stock for Good stuff to Lefty, taking a stock. Yeah, yeah start somewhere. Yo, you want to get energy for four stocks? Dude, interview once. Interview. interview. Okay. Yo, um, so first of all, hi, I'm Fooly Fooly, very nice to meet you. Yeah, we played in pools at Shop. Did we? We did. Oh, yeah, oh, you know, that's, I mean, your tag sounded familiar. I want to say fantastic tag, also, like, in person. Oh, yeah. I think that, uh, like, I definitely kind of bad one. Okay. We do talk about this. So, I'm a vegan fish fan. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. We did a combo here. We're going to be so all the time. Yeah. I would play the room to the side and watch the corner and use the very bar, like, Shake your left leg. So the first few weeks, I was just shaking my left leg. Hey, let the Lambert again. I just had no idea what I was doing. But eventually, I got a hold of it. So it's just kind of, you know, left the Lambert. So you're not even left handed. So you're not I'm even not left handed. So, so, except in some aspects. So, okay, so aspects. okay, so what aspects? Okay, so what aspects? Okay, all right. No, no, no need no, to no, no, elaborate, no, no, elaborate no, there. No, no, I think we all get what you're. We're you picking up what you're putting down. But anyway. So I just wanted to confirm that you so are in fact mostly a fraud, but not entirely a fraud, what with your tag left here. And I just want to, someone, someone a fraud, we'll take that. But anyway, uh, fantastic job against Hanky. Um, I'm a spacey player from Columbus, if you recall, um, so I play with him all the time. And, and if you ever want to uh, look over that set, and, uh, I can give you a couple pointers. I, like, he, he's beat up on me he's so many times, mm -hmm. um, I, I can definitely point out definitely. He's definitely, he's just definitely one of my weaker matchups I've found. Um, the person I play up a lot is uh, Snap from uh, Miami. Oh yeah, you play with not Mitchell yeah. too? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, uh, yeah. cool. Try to get down to the AL's a lot to get practice. And Peach is one of my weaker matchups, I'd say. As as is for most Falcons, most, most Falcons seem to not be very comfortable in the matchup. It's a unfortunate. Of the, a lot of the floaties matchups for me are something I need to work on. Yeah, a lot of the, even yeah. the top level Falcons you see nowadays opting for uh, Fox in the yeah in the West Falls, yeah, doing West Falls. it, um, some other people, and then everyone else struggles with it. The only one who I really ever saw success with it was uh, PPMD. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and Mango also when he has gone Falco has. Done very yeah, well. We saw him at yeah, 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 Grand Finals yeah, taking uh, our game five. Last hit? It was last. Uh, it was yeah, it was at least last talk. They were they were basically a pretty high percentage. Yeah, pretty he made the matchup look made like what I think it should be, which is relatively easy. Yeah. And uh, oh, okay. And this is gonna be an opportunity for Block Guy to get. Okay, reestablishes some stage control. And. I, I must admit, I don't know much about this matchup. Um, you don't see this matchup at a high level very yeah. often. But I'd imagine that Peach probably does play well. Yeah. yeah. She can, with the turn ups, it seems like she can edge guard quite well and kind of limit his options coming back. Yeah, I mean, when you find. Yeah, and the stage control in Grand Stage is pretty powerful. When you look at a lot of these mid tiers that tend to do uh, somewhat well, I think for the most part they're doing very well against the fast characters because yeah. they can combo them, so yeah. them so well. Exactly. You know, characters like Luigi, you know, characters Pikachu, like Luigi, Samus really uh, depend on their combo games. Like, oh, very nice! Wow. Had a very nice. nice. Even Hank had to appreciate that one. But, but what I'm getting at here is, you know, of course Luigi doesn't really have that kind of a punish game. Uh, not, you know, Pikachu doesn't have that kind of a punish game. Samus doesn't have that kind of a punish game on Puff and Peach. And I think that's a lot of what holds them back in the middle. Exactly. 
Whereas Peach, you know, she can really, when she gets an advantage, she can keep that advantage without tons of pressure. And I noticed Tanky was doing that to me a lot during the match. What a recovery! I oh, thought he was wow. so dead. I, I, when he went all the way down, I, I didn't yeah. know what to make I, I thought that was GG. I thought that was game one. Impressive, impressive. And he's unable to activate the Luigi main oh, misfire. Wow. But he it's somehow makes it back again. again. His recoveries are extremely creative. Yeah. I think he might be catching Hanky yeah. off a little bit off guard with this. Hanky certainly is not um, is particularly not, well versed um, in this matchup. Well um, match we do have two um, Luigi players in Columbus, but neither of them are ranked. Uh, um, so I mean, they're 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 somewhat competent um, to the point where you know, they could arguably make it out of pools in an event like this. But nothing is the effect of you know they're going to be preparing you for a bait. Exactly. No bait. No any Mexico. Yeah. And I don't know if Hanky, have you played a bait? Hanky, have you played a bait? Hanky has never played a bait. He has played. How have you? How have you done against Luigi in the past? Hanky has beaten Vudujin, so when you see so him taking game one against Blah Guy, it's not that big of a surprise. Yeah. I mean, we are looking at the guy that's basically favored to a yeah, hidden boss. He is a hidden boss, but not M I O M. Yeah. He will, um, you know, I do hope, now that tax season is over, um, of course, he's a CPA uh, in downtown Columbus, but I do hope that now that tax season is over, he is able to continue to travel to some more events because he clearly has some top 100 level talent. Ohio definitely needs some more rap. Yeah, yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows about, you know, you got Nicky Dreffin, 4%, even yeah, yeah, Fizzle can see very well. It is. It is, in fact, it is. And that is going to do it. I feel like if Hanky really like wanted, he could have gone down there and picked it back up. Didn't want to kill himself. He heard it straight from Hanky himself. Kind of gave him four stars, man. But yeah, um, yeah, really good stuff from Blog Guy taking the stock last game because again, this is this is we're, looking, we're looking at the guy that's likely favored to take the tournament. Indeed, there's really only a number of players here that can feasibly take games off of Hanky. Exactly. I, Dreffin has Dreffin done in the past. Oh yeah. Um. Well, Dreffin oh, yeah. has yet um, to take a set in the past year, I believe. Oh, okay. In the past year and a half, in he's won one out of like 35. <laughs> another. Another one. one. He's getting more oh, stitches than Blog. Than Blog. He's getting more stitches than Blog Guy is getting misfired. This game. Something's wrong. Oh, with right. did, did he? Did he? Does he have like an Armada shrine in his in his closet that he just every time he goes to dinner? He must, man. Every Peach man does. Give me the luck. Whether they're willing to admit it or not, they're pretty nice to ask for Blog Guy. And the thing is, he gets he gets that throw, but what does he get off of it? He gets positioning, but exactly. I feel like because Luigi is better on the ground than in the air, he's not particularly good at dealing with Peach, who's more of an like yeah. air-based air character. He can float right, right above where his right real main wave dash area is. Yeah. That's one of the things I found yeah. troubling in a lot of matches when I go up against Peach, is he floats right above like short Your laser. lasers, or yeah. a lot of characters' yeah. ground gauge he floats up there and just waits for you to approach. Yeah, and I noticed that you yeah, did like to take to the skies and try to stay above him with platform camping. And that, a little bit. It, it's, it's definitely effective, but you know, it only gives you a slight advantage. You still need to capitalize on that positional advantage, and a player of Tanky's caliber is still going to be able to do very well in a situation like that nonetheless. Very yes, nice. Blog Guy as well taking one stock. Would you also like to jump in for an interview? Like Lefty, nice. it's, been it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Very nice. Blog Guy? Blog Guy? All right. Well, I got, how are we doing? I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually cutting out real quick because the, the, the video is... Alright, so, so we're cutting out. So we're cutting out. But we can just... Out. Sorry. Yeah, we can just, it wasn't all for the stream. Um, <laughs> so... So, so far, we've seen both so you and Lefty taking a stock off of Hanky. And I, I believe...